Hi, could I just add some instructions for a tracking number that's coming today? Also, if it could get dropped off in the front rather than the back because there's a big dumpster where the uh, lift gates are right now. And do you have any clue? Never mind. So I'll be receiving these dumbbells anytime between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So kind of broad on the time period of when they're coming, but I tried to ask them at the end and they hung up. I'm just happy though that pretty much everything from in there is gone, the current tenants in there. That's what I was worried about because on Friday I checked and they still had a lot of stuff behind the lift gate in there. All gone, there's still a dumpster in the back which is why we can't get dumbbells delivered back there, but I'll just get them delivered in here, probably put them in the office space, maybe the retail room. But that actually works out because we still need to put the flooring in, the rubber flooring, and we're pretty much covering all the warehouse space in there. So once that's in, then we can move the dumbbells and the dumbbell racks in there. So while I wait for the shipment, I'm, whoa! While I wait for the shipment, I'm looking for some houses right now and just taking pictures of the for sale signs. Like there's one for sale. There's a bunch for sale and this neighborhood's really nice. It's probably, and. You can tell it's like a wide variety of houses. There's probably some that are really expensive, like this street's probably expensive houses. But I'm sure there's other ones that are maybe like 150, 160. And if you know anything about Texas homes, they can go really cheap. The last place we were living, it was like some of the cheapest real estate. But here, it's gonna be a little more expensive because it's near Austin. But this would be perfect because if we got a house here, because I could literally just ride bike to work. It's about a half mile from the gym. And it's literally, you just come out of this neighborhood and it's a back road right to the gym. So, start riding my bike to work. I was could get a boosted board, but that's too much like Casey Neistat. So, and plus I, I would crash a boosted board easily. Believe it or not, I picked up some McDonald's for lunch three McChickens. The last time I've had McChicken, the last time I've had McDonald's, I think was before I started cutting in college. So the last tw 24 hours of this diet has been, not been the greatest because last night after my leg workout, I got a $5 hot and ready from Little Caesars. Those aren't the best, but they're cheap. But my body just, I can tell craves fats and just wants fat. So, but I feel a lot better from it too. Like even last night after that pizza, this morning, I just feel good. I feel full of energy everything but as long as I don't overdo it I also got some what is this sweet and sour sauce and spicy buffalo I guess that's gonna be a little bit healthier than ranch dressing so we'll dig into this and then hopefully the shipment comes so I got the key from the, the broker that's one thing we need to get rid of this what are they called strip doors but as you can see most of the stuff is gone Besides, they gotta remove this, which honestly, if they'd leave this behind, that wouldn't be that bad to store inventory. And then just some of this stuff too. But besides that, it's almost a clean space right now. Give you guys an idea of what we're looking to do with this space. So back here in this corner, basically from right here, this end of this lift gate door to that straight across, right to here, we're gonna wall that off, build some type of wall and have this as the packing and inventory room. So then we could just ship out of this lift gate. Over here then, this whole space is gonna be for the gym. That's gonna be the entire gym and we'll honestly be able to probably add equipment as we go if we ever need to. In here right now, this is kind of a space where you can do a lot with but it's probably gonna be in like a hangout room. You could do something like a cardio room but we'll probably just keep it like a hangout room like ping pong couches, things like that. So that's what we're thinking. This is what it looks like when dumbbells get delivered. We have five to, you know, five to fifties, 55 to hundreds. On the bottom we have the heavy ones, 105 to 150s, and then the racks down here. But it's not, I thought it was going to be a lot more, like more on the pallets and stuff like that. It's just heavy as hell right now. So I don't even have a pair of scissors. I got to go get some scissors and get these in before five. Five should be easy. So far we have the fives to the 100s. Still need the 105s to the 150s, which is going to be the hardest part. But it hasn't been bad so far. But these are going to be a struggle. Now all we have left is the 130s to 150s. Damn, broke my scissors. 
All right, so that is everything in there. We got five through 150s and then also the racks, which are in the middle. We'll set those up eventually, but I am winded for the day. I feel like I'm back in like high school football conditioning. Those last 125s to 150s were just killer, but it's actually a good workout for the day because I'm not going to the gym, but I'm going to head home. I'll see you guys back at my house. So it's Wednesday morning right now, picked up a couple boxes. I told you guys before that, I think I told you guys before that, our, all of our sales are direct from our website to consumer. We actually have a couple wholesale accounts, so every couple weeks or so I'll do a big order of, you know, a decent amount of, of volume, but that's one goal that we want to eventually get into, a good distribution network, and that's what every, you know, supplement company's goal when they start out. You want to see your products in bodybuilding.com, you want to see it in, you know, the store shelves. Things like that, but I, honestly, I think we can get there if we just keep increasing month over month. And I don't know, you know, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I definitely think we can get there. Another thing I tried out yesterday, though, Voss water. First time, they got me with the packaging. I love the bottle and the look of it. And that's amazing what companies can do. You know, beer companies, water companies, beer. Like I'll admit to beer. I'll try a beer out even if I don't like, like a wheat beer, for example. I don't like wheat beer, but if I like the look of the bottle. I'll sometimes try it out, and they got me with this. I didn't think it was anything special. It kind of tasted like tap water a little bit, so I definitely wouldn't get it again, but I love the look of it. Like, I'll probably keep refilling it. But I need to head into Austin because I am getting my car today. So I went ahead and got a 2012 Infiniti. I can't pick it up until Saturday because there's no one else here. My parents are coming Saturday, so this will be on the way home from the airport. We can just both swing by and get it, but... I would still be driving my 2009 Cobalt, my first ever car, which I got when I was 16, and I just recently stopped using it since I moved down to Texas because I figured it wasn't worth bringing down here, which I would have just ran that car into the ground. I got it when I was 16. It was like $6,000 with 6,000 miles on it, but it was so cheap at the time because it had an R title, and a Amish guy at the, the time fixed it up, and I bought it from him, but that car did me good. I used to drive like an hour or two and from work, so I didn't need anything special, Special, just something to put a lot of miles on. But I would still be driving that. I will literally just drive a car into the ground, but I'm excited to start driving this one. And I'm still not going to try to drive that much. I think we're going to get a house near the gym. And if that's the case, if it's the ones I was showing you earlier in this video, I think I'm just going to get a bike and go to work. And not like a motorcycle, like an actual mountain bike, which would be good. But I'm going to head home now. I haven't lifted for like 48 hours it seems. So we got to hit the gym. So we're going to do some shoulders. Every night two different views on your window ledge. Coffee is gone cold. It's like time froze. Just gonna check on our warehouse since it's right on the way home and then I'll get back on the road. This is a shoulder workout, and it's gonna be a little bit different than the one I showed you last time. Last time I did like 30 sets, super high volume, all super sets. I'm not gonna do that every single time I go in and do shoulders. I'll switch it up sometimes and just do straight sets. However, I do take in the same approach as in, I'm still using lighter weight and just chasing after that shoulder burn. So, keeping reps at between 10 to 15-ish on these sets. But something I used to do when I did shoulders, like here on the Smith Machine press, I used to go 225 for eight reps. Now I'm going 135 and just increasing the volume to like six, seven sets so I can get that burn. And I'm trying to do a lot of time under tension now because what I found, I, for one thing, I have a neck injury. I talked about it in other videos. And whenever I train shoulders, it always acts up if I'm kind of not keeping my neck in a neutral position. So always when I'm training delts now, I'm always trying to just keep my neck straight and just chasing that pump with the shoulders, getting that burn and just 
kind of just not going too heavy so just always increasing the volume if I, I feel I can do more I'll just increase the sets but I also finished up with some side delts on the machine been doing this a lot more than dumbbells lately and then also a few other exercises and started implementing more shrugs into my, my workouts but I hope you guys enjoyed this video the next video you may be seeing me in is my brother's I think I'm gonna be filming from my point of view and then he's filming from his point of view when he comes home which is Monday right now at least he's coming home Monday so the video is gonna kind of come together it's gonna be on his channel so it should be pretty cool I'm gonna probably start filming today maybe for that or tomorrow but I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one